Welcome back to Marine Real Talk. If you're new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss all my upcoming videos. Okay, today I'll be sharing the part 2 of the EGR or the excess gases circulation which is the water treatment system. But before going to the water treatment system, let's have a short review about the EGR. EGR is a method to significantly reduce the formation of NOx in the diesel engine. How? A part of excess gas is being cleaned, cooled, and recirculated to reduce the oxygen content in this cabin's air to reduce the formation of NOx. By using this method, the EGR method, the territory requirements in NOx ECA can be met. The primary focus of this method is the reduction of NOx. However, due to cleaning process during the pre-spray and EGR cooler spray, even the SOx has reduced. Okay. The water used for cleaning and cooling in the EGR system is what we call the process water. Okay. In order to maintain the ability of the process water to clean, the excess gas, the water handling system, and the water treatment system are needed. Let's start about the water treatment system. Okay. The water is led into the EGR gas through the EGR pre-spray and EGR uh, cooler spray. In the EGR pre-spray, the excess gas is washed and pre-cooled by water evaporation. The water evaporated in the EGR pre-spray is condensed in the EGR cooler. Then, will pass through the water mist catcher to separate the process water from the EGR gas. Then, the process water is drained to the RTU or receiving tank unit and recirculated to the EGR unit by the process water circulation pump or PWCP. A part of the circulated process water is led to the water treatment system or WTS to be cleaned and returned to the EGR unit by treated water supply pump or TWSP. The circulation water increases by the combustion process and excess water is stored in the buffer tank. And when the liquid level in the buffer tank rises, and exceeds the height of the overflow pipe of the buffer tank by gravity will overflow to the EGR water drain tank. The process water or circulation water absorbs the sulfur of the excess gas and it becomes acidic. It is neutralized by adding the NOH or sodium hydroxide in the supply unit. The water treatment system also handles the bleed of water, which is uh, the surplus water from the combustion process accumulated in the system. So actually this bleed of water can be discharged either at overboard, direct overboard, or returned or recirculated to the EGR uh, drain tank. If the bleed of water will be discharged overboard, the water quality must meet the international requirements or the quality criteria are required by the IMO guideline for excess gas cleaning system. The residual from the cleaning process are discharged to the EGR dirty water tank. But when discharge of bleed of water is not possible to, uh, due to insufficient water quality uh, or local restriction, the bleed of water should be led to the EGR dirty water tank and it will be discharged ashore or through shore facility disposal. Mitsui EJ has a two types of WTS, the MKK-1 and the MKK-2. The MKK-1 is for cleaning of the recirculated EGR process water. And also, it controls clean and discharge excess water generated in the EGR process. While the MKK-2, it has only a function to control clean and discharge the excess water generated in the EGR process. Okay. The bleed of water passed through the separator and the filter unit. This is uh, a hollow fiber membrane filter or also the cold spaghetti filter. Maybe you were asking why the cold spaghetti filter. Okay, this is the bottle. Actually look like spaghetti or pasta. The reason why they called it spaghetti filter. Actually the water treatment system also has the oil monitor or the oil content meter just like for the build separator. In the water treatment system, the oil and soot is being removed by the separator and the uh, filter. 
or this hollow fiber membrane filter or what they call spaghetti filter. Before the processed water enters to the water treatment system, it contains oil and soot. So part of the cleaning process, the fuculant is added to the processed water by fuculant dosing pump. So the fuculant acts to facilitate bonding between particles and form heavier particles for easier separate in the separator. So dosing of fuculant is very important. It is recommended that crew should have a water testing to know the to know the correct dosage of a fuculant. Take at least five water samples, one liter each container. Then add with certain amount of fuculant and set aside for about 30 minutes and see how the chemical reacts. The heavier particles then settle to the bottom of the container. The crew decides which among the result is suitable. Then we'll set it to the fuculant dosing pump. I'll be showing the uh, water treatment system control panel and also how the bleed off and the recirculation to the EGR drain tank is being selected in the panel. Actually, you can select which one you want. No? It depends on the situation. If it is uh, can be discharged and it complies or meets the requirements, The water is treated in the WTS so that it conforms to the quality level required by the guidelines for IMO MAPC 73 about the excess gas recycle system drainage. Okay, I'll be showing how to clean the hollow fiber membrane filter. Actually, this filter is quite big. Now, it needs a chain black to, to pull out or to remove. Then, you can also see how it is being cleaned.
crew have to clean the filter by hand washing with recommended detergent. In some case, filter is to get clogged due to cylinder oil mixed in the process water. Cylinder oil cannot be removed with a separator. Therefore, correct dosing of truculant is very important. Thank you for watching Marine Real Talk. If you like this video, please like and share, and don't forget to subscribe. Again, God bless us all.